I fell in love with VWs when I saw Herbie the Love Bug at Northfield's Odeon in 1969. Later on, when it was my turn to buy a car, I bought one for 450 pounds. I really enjoyed tinkering on my first beat, and then I've not stopped since. <laughs> we managed to buy this garage, and we've restored cars here since then. I met my wife through this garage. She used to be a customer of mine, and I used to give her good discounts. <laughs> I asked her out, and we went out for our first day in my green convertible. I picked her up and we went to a strand on the green in Chiswick. I just asked if I could kiss her, just expecting a yes or a no, and, and, she, and she said, where? <laughs> One thing led to another. We got married in 93. We had three lovely children. All my memories with Helen and the kids are VW related. Unfortunately, she passed away. But the lovely memories are there. My first grandchild, so little Harry's two years old now, and he's already making his mark. He's got a blue beetle, and he's got the Herbie car, which has got his own little engine, and he just drives it around. <laughs> I've always had an interest in Herbie, so I managed to get myself the real McCoy. I take such good care of him, anything that he needs, he gets best quality. <laughs> I've not really stopped buying, repairing, restoring cars. My whole life has revolved around VWs.